friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All of Ab Nails. Today I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a tour of my nail polish storage, where I keep my nail polish collection, and my materials for <laughs> doing all of the nail polish things that I do. So I use one of the nine drawer Alex, and the, I basically keep all my nail polish in these top drawers, and then at the bottom I have some other stuff. So up top here I have this little box that I got from Ikea, and in this box I keep like my swatch sticks on rings, just so they're easy to access. I keep some of the products that I use every day. So this is my like Orly cuticle cream. This is my nail polish corrector pen. My glass nail file is up here. And then my regular acetone remover is here, as well as my Remove Plus. Underneath this box, if you can see it, there's this stack of paper here. These are the kind of backgrounds that I use when I'm taking swatch photos. So there's white ones, and then there's some colored ones that I use if I'm doing like a, you know, paint my nails with me video, that kind of stuff. Um, I just keep them here under the box so they stay clean and out of harm's way. This first drawer has all of my supplies in it. So these are my like base and top coats. This is my Pacifica that's like empty. I need to throw it away because it's so goopy, but I love this top coat and I haven't replaced it yet. <laughs> um, I have my extra swatch sticks in here. So these are ones that are empty, waiting to be used. Um, and then over here, I have another box insert in here. This is where I put polishes after I swatch them. Like if I take a picture and I need to remember what polish it is, I put it in here. All right, the next part's probably what you're most excited about. This drawer, this drawer, this drawer, this drawer, and this drawer <laughs> are all Zoya. Each drawer fits 90 polishes, so there's nine across and 10 rows back. And there is a little bit of space in the back of the drawer. I can't reach back there, and so I just put them in the way that they fit. Um, the like tall Alex drawers fit a little bit less than when I used to put them in a shorter Alex drawer. I think I used to be able to fit about 10 more polishes per drawer. They just don't pull out as far. My guess is so that it doesn't like tip over. Um, so I fit 90 in each drawer. I organize these by color according to the Zoya website. And so I go in this drawer, this first drawer, I go from Alicia all the way back to, let's see what this one is, Arabella. So this drawer is like mostly nude to orange to pink. I really like this drawer, I think it's very pretty. This one look, looks a lot more um, like monochromatic. So these are like pink through the beginning of reds and a little bit into purple, but not quite purple yet. It's more like the red purples. Um, so this one again fits 90. It goes from uh, Lara, ooh, this is a pretty one, back to Blair. So that's kind of the range of colors in here. And you can see like that back row is a little hard to get into, but it's not impossible by any means. I'm fine with going back that row. I would not be able to grab them if I went one row further back though. So that's why I just do the 10 rows that I do. This one is mostly purple back to blue here. So it's mostly purple and then the blue kind of fills in in the back. There's a couple blues in the next drawer too. This one starts with Gem, which is a new one that I just picked up, but it is so stunning. I love this one. And then it ends with Song, which is another pretty blue. So that is drawer number three. And these are super full. Um, the reason that I'm filming this video today is because I actually just like put away all my Black Friday stuff. I put away all of the polishes that I swatched and wore in December, and I'm like getting ready to start prepping for January, getting ready to start, you know, pulling things out for 2019, but I haven't done that yet, so I thought this was a good time to film it because my collection is actually full right now. Usually there's like empty spots in here for the polishes that I've pulled out. This is the last full drawer. Uh, my next drawer is a little bit empty. So right here I have kind of the end of the blues through teals, greens, yellows, and then some of these like darker, you know, ready brown colors that kind of fit in here. And then at the very back, we have some like silvers and grays. So the first polish in here is this Stunner. This is Ibiza. And then this one ends with, Devon is blue, but it comes kind of like between the grays and the navies. So Devon is right next to Tilly and Cosmo in here. So the final drawer is one of the deeper drawers. So it's a bit deeper than the top ones, um, but it fits the last of my Zoya. I just recently had to expand into here. I only have two full rows and then a couple over here. Um, and then I also have my extra wide brushes in here. I haven't decided where I'm gonna put those yet. And then I have my discontinued Zoyas in the back there. So this drawer goes from Cassidy. 
to Willa. So back here are my discontinued Zoyas, and so these are either Zoyas that were previously part of the Zoya collection, like Phoebe, and they're now discontinued, or they're polishes that like Violet were kind of like a special release but were never actually added to the Zoya collection. Um, so I just keep those back here. I did a whole video where I had a whole bunch of discontinued Zoyas and I de-stashed a bunch of them. In this drawer, because it's a little bit empty, you can see that I put some drawer liner in here. This is a tip that I got from Kayla at Cork Manicures. Um, and what it does is it means that if I pull a polish out because I'm using it, I can like open and close the drawer and the polishes around it won't collapse into that hole. So it makes it a lot easier to pull polishes and use them and then put them right back where they belong, um, which because I keep them so organized is, is pretty important to me. All right, and then my last drawer are the polishes that I own that are not Zoya. So these are organized by brand. Um, and so they look kind of funny, but there's so many different tops. These white tops are all of my taco lacquers. I have some London Town over here, some London Town lacquer. Um, back here are all my Orleys. Over here are my Pacificas. Um, I have a couple random ones. These are my Ren polishes. I've done a review of these. I love these ones and I want to get some more, um, etc, etc. And then up here are my Kale polishes. This drawer doesn't have my Black Friday haul in it yet, um, just because I hadn't finished hauling those and swatching those but when I am filming this video. I have done my haul video but I haven't swatched small on swatch sticks or gotten pictures of them yet and so they'll go in here once I've done that which is pretty exciting. So this drawer will get a little bit more full which makes me nervous. <laughs> um, I'm pretty ruthless with my non-Zoya polishes. Like I will not keep them if I don't like them. I need to do another de-stash probably in the next month or so um, just because a lot of these either are dupes for a Zoya or are colors like this one is really pretty. It's the only Lauren B. Beauty that I own and it's a color that I just like won't really wear. Um, I don't really wear metallic pink that often. So I don't know, I need to do another de-stash soon and get rid of some of these ones that I just like know that I won't wear because I'm a little picky about what I wear. Um, Zoya, I'm collecting for like collector's sake <laughs> and Kale Polish, I'm collecting for collector's sake. But you know, if I'm not gonna actually wear it and I don't really care about collecting it, then I don't wanna hold on to it. So I need to de-stash some of these and I know this doesn't look that overwhelming, but when you compare it to the four other drawers of Zoya that I have, um, it makes me feel like I have way too much. All right, so the last place that I store nail polish is on this rack, and it's pretty empty right now. Like I said, I'm kind of between um, December and January polishes now, and so what's up here are just the polishes that if you watched my like indie and boutique Black Friday haul, you saw all of these. This is what I hauled. And so these are up here because I need to swatch them and then put them away. But usually the way that I set this up is the first two rows are polishes that are new and need to get swatched or hauled. And then the next two rows are polishes that are for upcoming videos. So for example, if I'm getting ready to do a blues comparison, I'll put all the blues there, but I want them kind of easily accessible in my mind's eye so I can be thinking about them. And then the last row are the polishes that I just wanna wear for the month. Um, they might be you know, seasonal colors or fun colors. Um, and so that's where I'll pull other polishes from my collection that I just wanna wear. So that's pretty much how I store them here. Nothing lives on here permanently. So if you see in the back of my videos, it changes pretty regularly. <laughs> um, they don't really stay here. Uh, for too long. I hope this is interesting. Maybe you learned something or just got a little behind the scenes look. Um, if you have any questions about the products that I use, um, please let me know. I will be happy to answer them. I will link this guy I got on Amazon and so I'll just link that down below in my description box. And then again, my drawers come from Ikea. So. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Let me know down below in the comments um, how similar or different our nail polish collection storage is um, or if there's any tips or tricks here that you want to take away. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.